Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video I have the ASA Twin V10, the version with the gin bottle spools. This lock is a successor to the ASA Twin 6K and while it's kind of similar in terms of design, it has quite a or tiny little differences. So let's take a look what are they. So the key looks pretty similar to the Twin 6K. We have the beating for the top pins and for the side pins as well, but as you can see the beating for the side pins looks a little bit more different and it's because the side pins look a bit different as well so that's the key in the housing we of course have the groove for the sidebar here on the left side okay, hopefully that's visible uh, and this Morty slender format is got from the top so there was like a metal plate running across this chamber uh, holes in the plug we can see that the keyway looks a bit different than the 26k it's a little bit more restrictive i would say but still you can use uh, 18,000 hooks just fine so of course we have gin bottle spools so we also have counter milling for the gins in here so all of these chambers except for number three are milled which is normal three is usually not milled in the twin uh, locks at least the ones with gin bottle spools we have the sidebar slot with two slots for the springs and five slots for the side pins okay for the drivers we have of course six Gin bottle spools, but as I said, number three, uh, chamber number three is not milled, so this gin basically acts just like a normal spool. And let's take a look at those side pins because that's the main difference between the 26K and this one. So, as you can see, the side pin okay, actually, I'm gonna over to it like this uh, the side pins are all the same, so they have. Uh, the true gate at the same place, so the code to the sidebar is in the sidebar itself. You can see the true gate over there, and they also have maybe this will be better, I don't know, false gates above it. Okay. And on the bottom you can see that there that it has kind of like a shoulder. So that's the contact point uh, with the key, or in this case with your pick. And it's a little bit more awkward to get to that because it's not like a flat surface like in 6K but it's just like this shoulder. So getting under them can be a little bit more tricky or finding them, not getting lost. You can definitely get used to it but I would say that in terms of picking they're a little bit maybe more difficult to navigate than the 26k but on the other hand the false gates are definitely not that deep and you can totally force the side pins out of them so in terms of picking it's as i mentioned in the previous video or one of them uh, it's uh, highly preferable to pick the any lock that has a sidebar and side pins on the left side of the lock in counterclockwise direction because if you are picking the lock clockwise and you are trying to lift the side pins with a flag you are basically rotating the same way like you are tensioning and you are walking the, these pins up unfortunately enough uh, when I when when I wanted to go counterclockwise in this lock the lock did not isolate between the main stack and the side pin so I chose the lesser of two evils and I went clockwise anyway so these side pins locked a little bit harder but still I with some tension control I was able to uh, force them so for picking these I was using the multi pick number 10 and for the main stack uh, Peterson hook number 7 in 18 thousands uh, when I went clockwise the lock followed the, the standard binding order jeans into milling side pins and then jeans out of milling so that was nothing too extraordinary uh, and for picking the jeans well I'm not going to talk about it too much because it was covered in pretty much like a million videos uh, you have to bounce the jeans out of the milling as soon as they start 
binding inside of it uh, and you don't have to float uh, float pick this because you have the sidebar that is pressing against the housing and doing the manual count rotation for you so it's sufficient to only release tension and by that you are basically you can control how much the core is rotating back okay so that's nice about the twin style locks but air the tolerances were kind of good so still a lot of control was required okay that's it uh, so let's get to picking there's one more thing i forgot to mention for some reason uh, or to show you and that's the sidebar of course uh, so as you can see the sidebar has its fences in different heights so that the side pins can look the same or they do look the same uh, all of the true gates of the side pins look uh, or in this are in the same position and the sidebar has the code for it in itself so that's just the thing I forgot to mention okay let's get to picking all right here we go so he works <coughs> Well, let's start with clockwise tension and set the jeans into the milling. Three, four, five. One more click on three. A little something on one. And two. Core rotation. So now that we have all the jeans in milling, we can start working on the side pins. So there's. Two, click there, click on one, two again, one again, three is bound, click there, some more clicks on one and two, I think that I overset three, pretty sure actually, so let's just drop him. Let's start setting this front two again, so one, and two, okay, okay, this should be good, click some four, click some five, one, two, three, Four is bound. Click there. See if we dropped anything. Yes. It was one. Click there. Almost audible. Click on four. Click on five. Back to the beginning. Okay, click on one, click on two, this should be good now, four is good, click on five and still binding, okay, one more click there, and four is still bound, okay, click there, I think we have the sidebar set now, We'll see. Okay, so back to the jeans. <coughs> so first start with the unmilled chamber in position 3. Okay, click there and a nice full set. So we can start from the back. Okay, 6 seems to be already set. 5. Five is in the milling, so let's set that guy. Okay, he's up. Four. He's up. I'm getting second thoughts about six. Maybe I will come back to him later. Okay, anyway, let's continue with two. That one is in the milling for sure. Ok, 
Okay, he's up. Let's check the others. Maybe we dropped something. Okay, click on five. It was like half dropped. Click on one. One, two. Some ping ponging between the front two jeans. Okay. No. Something still. Moving us up. Not sure what it is. Just yet. Sometimes these guys need a little nudge, but doesn't seem like it's the case. Maybe still six actually. Yeah. Well, hopefully we don't drop anything now. But I think we will. I don't know, maybe I got it. Let's try two and one again. Okay, perfect. So you see that in the end there was some ping ponging between the genius and I was able to set them because they did not drop all the way back to the milling, but sort sort of halfway in there. So they only needed like a, like a little click. Okay, so let's change the autofocus. Okay. This should work, so let's get this bad boy got it. And see what's inside. Okay, this should do. Okay, so uh, how about first? Yeah, first we will just remove this on the main stack. So let's push this. Cover back, slide it off like this. Okay, springs. Six, five, four, three. And one, okay, and the pins so six, five, four. One, I said one, and two. Cool. Now we can unscrew this back plate. Are the key and just push this out, catching the sidebar. Perfect. So let's remove the sidebar first and the spring second. Focus. Okay. Oh, before I forget, I should show you that the looking did is correct milling. No milling in chamber three, of course. Not sure if this was visible, but it was definitely audible. Okay. Extract the key and we can remove the side pins. One, three, four, five, okay. 
two, three, four, five, and those little springs. Got two out so far. Not too happy about going out. Okay, third just jumped out. There's still two remaining. Okay, might help them a little. All right, they're out. Perfect. We have everything out now, so I can show you a close-up, hopefully it will be visible. Okay, six jeans. Five side pins, sidebar, black, and some miscellaneous parts, and uh, housing with the sidebar groove. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day, and see you next time.